I'll say this too uh, about my experience with you growing up is that you've always uh, ate clean compared to what we ate. I remember eating uh, what's this called? Uh, I went through a lot artichokes. of artichokes. I never had artichokes until I came to your house. I still love artichokes. <laughs> I still love me some artichokes. I haven't had one in a while. He I just inspired you the, me. You made the dip? And I mean, yeah. used it, that was uh, ranch. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. Mm-hmm. That was so good. Mm-hmm. I remember Steve me, Damien, sitting, uh, sitting at the table when y'all was uh, up from 38th Street. Mm-hmm. Dale. On Dale, yeah. Dale Place. Mm-hmm. Killing them artichokes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's that you had artichokes? A minute, but mm-hmm. I don't know. see, yeah, it was super good. Huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Those are the shows was on. I fell in love point. with um, almost all things green as an adult. Couldn't get me to eat nothing green as a kid. Really? I was lucky to eat iceberg lettuce. Really? That was about my extent. Of be- <laughs> yeah, I know that today. <laughs> but that was about my extent of green vegetables coming up. But as I got older, my passion, my palate, I guess. Love me some green vegetables. I even do Brussels sprouts, y'all. Oh, yeah. Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> no, no, no. Brussels sprouts is what you do with them. You cut them open. Mm-hmm. You cut them in half. Mm-hmm. You They're get some, uh, some, whatever season is you like. Butter. <laughs> the butter. Oh, yeah. Get some seasonings. Mm-hmm. Get some maple butter. syrup. Drizzle on top and put it in the oven. Okay. That sounds good if you like it sweet. <laughs> yeah. But the seasoning mm-hmm. kind of offset it when you put, like, whatever mm-hmm. in the cayenne pepper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your turmeric or whatever. You want this? Just dip it for me. Oh, just leave it mm. in? Okay, so I'll... No, dip it and oh. give it back. I just wanted a piece of that. Then I'm going away again. Still, it's still in my food. This what happens when you get married. This king crab is doing it, y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's good? Mm-hmm. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Mm. I think the king crab batch is better than the Dungeness crab batch. Mm-hmm. 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 Is it sweet or is it... Uh, no, it's just that it's, it's not pulling out. like It's kind of falling apart. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this is not. Mm, it's mm-hmm. perfect, huh? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Bell peppers. Chop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. The corn is good. That's the way I like it. Yeah, the corn is really good and fresh tasting. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, wait. Let me see this go. Mm. Here we go. Oh. Mm-hmm. My wife took them. Yeah. Yep, yep, Ooh. yep. So, you also have a uh, little side hustle. You still doing your soaps? You know what? I, every now and then on my Estee store, I'll get a, a order here and there. Mm-hmm. But I know I've been procrastinating as far as marketing my brand. Okay. But to answer yeah. your question, I do still love making soap. I haven't made a batch in a while. But I have my supplies like over here where I can see them. Ready to go. Always ready to go. So, anybody mm-hmm. want some homemade... Mm-hmm. Soapy Soap. Soaps and Such U.S. on SD Store. E, was it E-T-S-Y? I think it's spelled. Yes. SD Store. SD Store. And then search for right. Soapy Soap. Soaps and Such U.S. Soapy That's me. Soaps and Such U.S. And I, I have a lot of inventory I haven't uploaded yet, y'all. But uh, I'll get around to it. Yeah, so. It was easier before I went back to work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, 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 that I'm, now that I'm back in that grind you have to get up you gotta get in traffic you gotta drive them yeah. get it some people can't do it you know what i couldn't do it for a while i couldn't do it for a while Sometimes menopause y'all oh lord that's another video, <laughs> another video. <laughs> that's another video hey, listen, listen back just say Woo! <laughs> you just wake up and start sweating <laughs> you say, i don't know what's wrong with my wife <laughs> Man, she's going to start sweat. I'm having a hot flash right now. You guys look at my faces. Oh, Laura. <laughs> my goodness. I know at one point you were talking about moving to Seattle because of all Make the rain. Mm-hmm. And you cool. Mm-hmm. I remember that. I mean, you guys, let me tell you something. <laughs> I think, I think menopause. <laughs> menopause is from the devil. And, oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> Me, yep. Oh. Um, <laughs> menopause, in my opinion, should be considered a mental illness for all women that <laughs> suffer. So you should be able to get a check. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, let it happen. I'm, hey, I, uh, I swear to God, my Lord. menopause was a monster. <laughs> Woo! If you can experience common <laughs> man, I mean, literally, I, 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 I kid you not, I went two years sleep. I couldn't wear clothes to bed. Literally. Dang, for two years? It was that hot? Mm. It was like, get it off. Did she just... I didn't want nothing on my skin. <laughs> I still, to this day, sleep with yeah. a fan <laughs> at my face. Dang. Every night, I remember my poor husband. 
<laughs> he would always complain he's cold. Freezing. But I do remember hearing him get up for work and kind of chuckling because I'd just be butt naked, laid out, <laughs> spread, ego in the bed because I could do nothing else. I would get on the floor, get back on the bed, get on the floor, get back on the bed, trying to cool off. Covers on, covers <laughs> off. It was nuts. Oh my God. Like, what's happening? And I, Dang. Well, at least my hormones <laughs> kind of stabilized because, uh huh. Jeez. I thought I was losing my mind. Well, you wasn't. Mm-hmm. You were just going through what was natural. It was natural, but you know what else helped is when I found out what was wrong with me because I, I thought I was going crazy. Sure. Mm-hmm. Right? It's like, yep. okay, this is not what but I thought I could it was. See, I can see why a lot of women, why a lot of marriages don't survive when a woman's going through menopause. I kid you not. It's, I'm serious. 